Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the German Mathematical Olympiad, grades 11 to 13, final round 1965, problem number 6. We wish to prove that if alpha, beta and gamma are the, are angles, the angles of a triangle, then cosine of alpha plus cosine of beta plus cosine of gamma is less than or equal 3 over 2. And we also wish to find out when does uh, equality happen. All right, so here are my hints for this interesting problem. First, consider first the case of an acute triangle when alpha, beta and gamma are less than pi over 2 and try to use the Ensign's inequality because cosine is concave on this interval. And then consider the second case when one of the angles is greater than or equal pi over 2 and show that, for example, if gamma is greater than or equal pi over 2, show that cosine of beta plus cosine of gamma is less than or equal 2 times cosine of beta plus gamma over 2. And this time, beta plus gamma over 2 is less than, strictly, less than pi over 2. And we can reduce our problem to the first case. So give this problem a try. All right. So as I said, let's consider... Two cases. Case number one. Case number one is when alpha, beta, and gamma are all less than pi over 2. All right, let's visualize uh, our function. Notice that cosine, cosine looks something like that. Here is pi over 2, and we see clearly that it is concave. Cosine is strictly concave. On the interval. On the interval from 0 to pi over 2. Also, by the way, we can even consider in this case when equality happens. All right, by this, by Jensen's inequality, by Jensen's inequality, we can say that cosine of alpha plus cosine of beta plus cosine of gamma over three is less than or equal cosine of alpha plus beta plus gamma over three. All right, this works because our function is concave. But what is alpha plus beta plus gamma over 3? Well, it's cosine of pi over 3, which happens to be what? Uh, 1 half. So, after multiplication, cosine alpha plus cosine of beta plus cosine of gamma is less than or equal 3 over 2. And also, since our function is strictly concave, we know that Equality happens if and only if all of the angles are the same. Equality is attained if and only if if and only if alpha, beta, and gamma are all the same, of course, equal pi over 3. So we have when our triangle is equilateral. All right. Case number two will be when, for example, because of symmetry, we can just consider when gamma is greater than pi over 2. I will show that our problem can be reduced to the first, to the first case. To show that, notice the following. Cosine of alpha plus cosine of beta plus cosine of gamma. I will use one of the many trigonometric identities. One identity says that cosine of beta plus cosine of gamma it's the same as 2 times cosine of beta minus gamma over 2 times cosine of beta plus gamma over 2. All right. Now notice the following. Uh, both of these numbers are greater than 0. Why is that? Well, because notice that uh, beta minus gamma over 2, well, beta minus gamma uh, over 2 is between mine is, well, you know what, I can write 
gamma minus beta maybe. Notice that this angle is greater than zero, gamma minus beta, that is, and less than pi over 2, obviously, because gamma is less than pi, and we are subtracting a positive number, but moreover, uh, beta plus gamma over 2 is also less than pi over 2, and also greater than zero. Well, why is that? Well, because uh, beta plus gamma plus alpha is pi, so beta plus gamma is less than pi. All right. And also, maybe I will write that this number is not only, uh, this first number is not only greater than zero, but, but actually this number is from the interval zero, one. Actually, it cannot be, it cannot be one. It cannot be one because one happens uh, one happens uh, if our angle is uh, zero. So that would happen when beta equals gamma, but only one angle can be greater than pi over two. All right, so this means that we can estimate it from above by cosine of alpha plus two times cosine of beta plus gamma over two. Or I can write it cosine of alpha cosine of beta plus gamma over 2 plus cosine of beta plus gamma over 2. Now, notice that all of these angles are acute. Are acute. Which means that by the, by the result of case number 1, by case number 1, we know that this is less than or equal uh, 3 over 2. Notice that in this place right here, our inequality is strict, which means that our inequality holds and there cannot be equality. Oh, equality is not possible. It's not possible in this case. Which actually closes our problem because this means that our inequality holds in every case and equality holds if and only if our triangle is equilateral it closes our problem and by the way one more remark before you go you may say well why can't we just use uh, Jensen's inequality in general case well the problem is that cosine when it goes beyond pi over 2, it becomes uh, convex. And in general, the instance inequality cannot be used in this case. It can be only used when our function is strictly concave, and it fails to be strictly concave on the interval from pi, pi over 2 to pi. So that was the reason to consider two separate cases. And that is it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.